It was great, and and you know, uh, working with George, you know, he's a, he's an actor first and foremost, really, and I'm sure he'd admit that too. So. It's actor language. A lot of it's just unspoken. He can come up to you and say, you know, like like this, like this, you know, and he just flickers his eyes or something, you know, oh, like that, like that. You know, and so it's a lot of fun to work with somebody who understands exactly what it is you go through when you're working, and you want to please him even more in a weird way. You don't have that kind of uh, push and pull that you have with the director usually because it's almost like he's, he's the ghost right there with you, you know, so it was a great experience. Like the old time sort of community of artists, you know, and these guys all know each other. I was new to this group, but most of these guys, they've all mixed and matched in films over the years, so I was welcomed right in like part of the family. That felt good too. It's yeah. Joel and Ethan who are friends, and the script was, I just love a, a movie where people are making absolutely idiotic decisions constantly, and, uh, and every turn taking the exact wrong turn. And I like characters like that, so it's fun. I make a lot of jokes about Matt, but he's a wonderful actor and he's a great friend and he's always fun to work with. And we've done, I think, seven or eight films together, so it's always fun. All you ever want is a, a, a people to have a, to enjoy themselves at the film, and if they have something they want to talk about on the way home, good. And if they don't, that's fair. That's fine. You know, I think it's so. I think it's sort of your job to to try to make the film entertaining, and then hope there's something in there that people can digest a little later. Every day was just really fun. I mean, it was was serious work, and the scenes were intense. But in between, you know, we laughed a lot, and uh, George likes to keep a real light, happy set and work quickly. And you got to be up to speed. And uh, there's nobody more equipped to do that than Matt Damon and Julianne Moore. I mean, they're they're the pros of all pros, and you know, really nice to be around. But you know, they're great in every take. You want to work with the best. You want to raise your game, you know, by working with people that challenge you and that are working at an extremely high level, and that's and that's what was going on in this movie. Um, the costume design, the the production design, the uh, Robert Ellsworth, the DP, uh, George's work. He's a very sophisticated filmmaker. He's got an incredible amount of experience in all facets of filmmaking, and that that showed by the incredible specificity with which we were working. Matt Damon, you know, we, so that, that's the guy that we, we wanted. We had to actually shoot the film in California so he could do it because he'd been away so long. His wife said, you can do it, but you got to shoot it here. So, And then uh, Julianne Moore, who's right over there, she's, uh, she's like a national treasure. And Oscar Isaacs, who I didn't really know before we did this, is uh, now one of my top favorite actors. The guy's unbelievable. He's a genius. Well, I hope they just have a good ride. That's that's what we wanted. It's just a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a sort of a noiry thriller with some laughs. And then, um, if you look a little deeper, there's a couple of things that maybe you'll get. It's great because you know George really, really attracts such a high level of talent. You know, it's it's really extraordinary the caliber of talent, like on screen and and off. Um, his crew is amazing. Everybody wants to work with him because he is such a great guy and he's a great artist. So it's wonderful to, to feel included in that. I hope that it's it's a, it allows you to think about how easy it is to look the other way and to blame others for your problems. Honestly. George is great. Yeah, I, he's like he's fun, lighthearted, but very focused, very passionate. I could tell he was very, he was very into into it. I mean, of course he should be as a director, but I can tell he had a lot of passion around the project. And he's just he's an actor's director. One of the biggest things I think that people will see watching the movie, they'll say, "Wow, that was 1950s, and this is 2017." Like. Well, we're kind of experiencing similar things now, and hopefully it'll inspire people to want to make change, want to do something different. I think this is going to have a lot of social commentary around it in regards to, yeah, this is a film that play, took place in the 1950s, and look at where we're at today, and similar things are happening now.
it sounds cliche, but it's a dream come true. Come on, it's a dream come true. I'm here, I'm on the red carpet, I know Clooney, you know, I know Clooney, I got Clooney in my pocket, come on. Um, it's It's been great, and, and working with George was, uh, he just knows, he's an actor, so I mean, he knows how to make it good for us, he knows how to keep us loose, he's loose, he's doing what he loves, so he makes sure that we do what we love, you know what I mean? And everybody top to bottom would, would just jump over the moon for the guy, really, really. I felt a great responsibility to the Myers and the entire family, not to mention that the family was a pioneer by, you know, they really did break that line and, and jump in there for an opportunity for their family, an opportunity that we all deserve, you know. I mean, I love the movie. I'm really happy that, that Paramount let us do it and, and, uh, and supported us through it. And, um, I love the script of what George and Grant did and, you know, taking that Coen Brothers script and, and adapting it and, and um, I'm really happy with it. I, you know, it's, it's one of those things where movies are changing so much and audiences' appetites are changing so much and this is a different movie. This is something I've never seen before and so I'm, I'm curious to see, you know, uh, you know, if audiences embrace it. I really hope they do. I, I love the movie. There are all these parallels, you know, it's, it's set in 1957, but it's really about today. And, and um, so I think, I think people will, will kind of be able to draw those parallels and they'll be really entertained and hopefully laugh a lot, but, um, but it'll hopefully provoke some conversation too. When you can work with your friends, it's really, you know, I remember when, when Ben and I were writing Goodwill Hunting and very early on in the process, Ben said to me, judge me by how good my good ideas are, not how bad my bad ideas are. And it was just a really wise thing for, he was 20 years old when he said that to me. And, and, uh, and it's true, it's, it's, if you have that freedom to kind of put yourself out there, um, you know, and you trust the person that you're working with enough to tell you what's working and what's not, you can really get to some good ideas. And so George and I have a shorthand at this point. I trust him implicitly. Um, he runs a great set. He's got like the best people in the world working at, in every department. And so, and everyone's valued and everybody feels it. So everybody wants to be there. And, and that's a great environment to go to work in. It's a funny movie. It's very dark humor, very twisted, very George. And, uh, and, and, and there are all these kind of themes and parallels to draw to kind of, you know, the country we're living in today. But, but hopefully, it's, as George said, it's not, we're not making anybody eat their spinach. Hopefully, they, you know, people want to come and, and have a good time. It was so nice to be a part of this movie. I love being a part of it. I like meeting them. They're super nice. Matt Damon introduced himself to me when I first started. Mr. Damon, I met him in the, the wardrobe room. Miss Julia Moore, she was really nice. Yeah.